So you weren't scared of going, who is this stalker? And well, he came and picked me up mm. in a motorhome, okay? He went to all the famous restaurants in Beverly Hills that he knew that I loved and got a dish from each one of them and put them in the motorhome and drove us to the beach. He did that prior to picking you up? Mm -hmm. or? Prior to wow. picking me up. He drove us to the beach. And we sat, talked and talked and talked, had the dinner, ne nothing more than that. I said, why are we going to the beach and why am I in a motorhome? He said, well, I figured we'd have time to talk and be together. And he said, I wanted you to have the best food that you, that, that you liked. You know, that was the first date. Well, from then on, it was, you know, he did everything that he could to. I mean, what was his job at that time? He was, he was a comedian. You okay. Know, he, was, he was, oh yeah, he was, you know, he played Vegas. There's pictures of him, mm -hmm. <laughs> excuse me, in Vegas with everybody. And, um, and he'd done, well, four or five movies, I guess, too. Okay, so you connected in. Broadway. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 oh yeah. And <clears throat> the thing that I found out about him, which I adored, was that he was funny. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything that happened in the area or around was a joke. I mean, he made a... And it wasn't just it wasn't just like a joke. It was based on what was going on, you know. And and he was hysterical. Everything he did made me laugh, you know. So I thought, well, this is kind of fun. And he, from then on, he would come. And every time he came, see, there's something that I, that I didn't realize about him is that he was terrified of heights. He was terrified of. Um, being in a place where he couldn't view his car at this time, he was terrified of a lot of things. And I got to find all those things out, you know. But by the time he started therapy and drugs and things that he needed, then, th then it turned around. Oh. Um, yeah. So how long did you date before you married? Um, well, I, I had to, you know, get a divorce from Jack and had to wait for that. And, and you know, I wasn't I wasn't sure, you know, my kids and everybody else yeah. and everybody around said, Shirley, are you crazy? He's crazy as a loon. I said, yeah, I know he is. But I said, you know what? It's kind of nice to have somebody he's crazy. He's my crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, he's, and yet he was very, very good about money, very good about that. I mean, he was, yeah. you know, a real, saved everything, was very good about that. and. So you felt he was a good partner. Yes. Yeah. Exactly right. A good That's balance. What I felt. Yes. And seemed to be very good with my kids. Mm -hmm. Although you know he made jokes with them, and that was you know I forget the, they had a few names for him in the beginning. Sean, the, the oldest, wasn't thrilled at all. But Patrick and Ryan, you know, got to know him well. And Sean stayed stayed away from him for quite a while. But everybody's back now. So. And, uh, but well, it lasted, so. Yeah, exactly. that's right, exactly. <laughs> it was like, okay, she's not going to get rid of him. That's right, soon. that's exactly yes, right. Yes. I'm sure that's, that's what Sean said, mm -hmm. basically. And but it, sometimes that's what it is, opposites attract. Yeah. And, you know, that's nice. Well, there was no doubt about it, that's for sure. I mean, because everything he did <laughs> was so different than anything that I'd seen anybody do. And I thought, you know what, this is, he makes life interesting. And he's funny, mm -hmm. I mean, about everything. He still is, by the way. It's the thing that's kept me married to him for 37 years, is that I never know what he's going to do next, and yet I love it. Yes, <laughs> you of know? course. Yeah. I love it. And he's, he's still funny. His humor is hysterical. Yeah.